Hello fellow collectors and welcome to the channel or welcome back. So today's video is a video um, that I wish I probably would have seen myself a long time ago when I got back into the hobby. There are so many things to learn and to know and I still have so much more to learn and know. But one of them, one of the big ones is uh, the difference between player worn and game worn cards. So here I have two cards, and one of them is a player-worn card, and another one is a game-worn card. And you may be asking, well, what's the difference? Aren't they the same? And no, they are They are not the same. So with a player-worn card, um, so the player-worn card, that means that they have, that like, let's say, like Tyler Hansbro here, that he... He wore the jersey, but most likely it was probably at some sort of event or he was signing autographs and they had him to put on a jersey real quick so they could technically say that he had worn the jersey. Now, a game-worn jersey or game-worn card means what it means, that they wore that jersey, the, the jersey you see in the card, during an actual game. And so there is a pretty big price difference um, between the two. So like when you are searching, I, I mean, I love, I love Jersey cards um, very much. I know some people don't, I do. I, I don't, I'm not a Jersey, an actual real Jersey collector at all, just because they're so big and they take up so much space um, in, in my, in my home. So I've never been a big uh, collector of an actual Jersey. So that's why I like these, the cards so much because you get a little piece of the Jersey that the players had or supposedly had so so for example so this card actually a brad doherty carolina um uh one of the Car tar hill great is a uh player worn jersey and you may be asking well how do you know this um i mean it, it, i love this card because i mean it's a huge patch um love it so to find out <clears throat> on the back it most it will say so right oh where we go uh, we hope you enjoy this piece of basketball material uh, as we continue to keep you as close as we can. This jersey was worn by Brad Doherty for Upper Deck. So this is a player-worn, right? Actually, right there. It says right there. You've received a trading card with player-worn basketball basketball memorabilia. So, you know, Brad Doherty, this is not a Carolina jersey that uh, Brad Doherty wore during an actual game like he was playing against Duke. Um, it was just they handed him, hopefully, you know, a jersey of his at some event. They, they probably said, hey, Mr. Doherty, can you put this on for a minute? He puts it on. They Then he takes it off, gives it to them. They cut it up. So it's a player-worn jersey. Still cool card. You know, he did have the jersey in his hands for a few minutes, but not a game-worn jersey card. So there's that. And then with this, Han Tyler Hansborough card, and I love this card. I'm a huge, huge Tyler Hansborough fan. Um, so on the back, you'll see here, and oh, it's number 99. Um, right down there, mostly it's in there, kind of a smaller fine print. So this is the enclosed game worn material and autograph are guaranteed by Panini America. Um, so it actually says in their game worn. Now, here, here's the other thing. So I, I buy a lot of my cards on Com C or C O M C. And so they're what's really good about them is they take pictures of the front of the card and they take pictures of the back of the card, and you can zoom in. So when I'm looking at cards to buy, especially recently, I've been trying to buy some more Hansboro uh, jersey cards. Um, I'll zoom in, and, and I'm looking specifically for whether it says game-worn or player-worn uh, material. Um, the game-worn normally is going to be more expensive, but you know sometimes you can find a deal. Um, and, and just because I want, I specifically now, as I've been collecting now, back in it for five, six years, I uh, want the game worn stuff and not so much the player worn stuff. The, car, the cards are cool, but um, you know, there's just something that I personally want now more is the game worn cards. Now, and so on eBay, so the hard part on eBay is sometimes when people put things up for sale, they only put the front of the card. So you may see a really cool looking jersey card of one of your favorite players, but all you're seeing is the front. So you really don't know if this is player worn, game worn. And believe it or not, um, there's I've seen some stuff recently in this past year's product where it's a, a, a jersey or a relic card 
that the player has never it hasn't worn in a game. They haven't even put it on their the jersey just for a minute. It's not anything. So you got to be careful of that too. So um, I just wanted to share this because I don't think it's something that everybody, and especially new people to the hobby, know that um, there is a difference between game-worn jerseys and player-worn jerseys. So um, if you have any comments, I'd love to see them down below. Uh, if you just things you have to say or experience you've had with this. And um, I hope some of you find this video valuable. And uh, until next time, YouTube, be good. Go Heels!